What's good, everybody? It's your boy G Motor Bro back at WWE Champions. Um, I was gonna put out a video earlier, I still may, I still have a little time, so I might put out a little uh, what I was putting on my blog about um, some things I read. Uh, I heard somebody died in um, Ohio State Fair, I don't know if they fell first. Well, I didn't get to read the whole story, but um, I was gonna read it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get into that though, I might get into that tonight, not sure. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. Um, right now, I got WWE Champions. We're going to play the Thursday Uncaged. All right. Now, I've been playing the... I played the Bash of the Beach, and I already, since I already put a video up of that, I don't want to put another video up of that. So I just decided to do these here. Let's see. I'm not going to use Undertaker. Probably you since it's low. Seth. I like using Seth Rollins. He's my two star yellow. And um I'm almost got him up. Uh, he's gonna be the next one to go to three stars uh bronze. I just gotta get his uh his moves up. Once I get his moves up, he's good. He's gonna be going. <laughs> Um, John Cena, he's at a one and a half star gold. I got all his moves up. All I gotta do is get a few things on his um, um on his info, you know, at the bottom where it says um, you know, how many uh what names you need of certain items. I just gotta get that, and then he'll be a three star um bronze as well. He most likely gonna be like a one full star, two and a half, like two half stars. So you might as well say one, two and a half, I guess you could say, because two halves equals one. So it's going to be like a, I don't know how to explain it, <laughs> but um, yeah, you'll see what I mean. You'll see what I mean. When I upgrade them, you'll see them. Let's get into it. Like I said before, I never have sound. I always, I never play with a sound because it sounds a little, hmm. Like, eh, I don't like the sounds. Let's put it that way. Let's just keep it at that. I just don't like the sounds. She used that Dodger Insiguri. Mm. And hooks the leg. One, two, tatty. <laughs> Yo, tell me, tell me, man. Holla at me on the comments. Let me know some things you want to know. If there's something about the game that you may play. If you don't play this game. Or suggest some games I should play. And I'll put it up here, you know. Right now, I'm trying to figure out how to play um, my my video games online. I have an Xbox One. And I just got to look up the YouTube video, you know, to see how you hook it up so you can record it. And I could put it on YouTube, probably via TV. Um, I don't know what game. The only games I really got, to be honest with you, I have WWE 2K uh, 16. I didn't download 17. I didn't buy 2017. Uh, at the time, I couldn't afford it. I mean, now I can, but I just haven't gotten it. And I don't think I should get it because 2018 is coming out in like the next four or five months. But if I do get it, I will definitely load up load some videos for that game. I know it's a ton of videos out there with WW2K, what's the name, already. But when 2K18 comes out, I am going to buy that game. I know it costs $60. To me, that's a lot of games, a lot of money. Back in the day when I was younger, you know, we used to, I used to have a friend of a friend of a friend that used to hook up my Xbox where I could burn my own games, you know. You know, I had, I had about, hmm. Ooh, I had about, if I remember, if I counted, if I had to pay $60 for each game, I had about $1,200 worth of games. So, but, um, yeah, they don't do that no more. Can't do it no more. So, hey, it was fun while it lasts. You know, all good things must come to an end. So, so now I'm just going to be doing it legitly, and I'm going to be putting up some Xbox games um, up there as well. I'm thinking about doing a GoFundMe page because, um, as everybody know, I think I put on here, I, I was trying to lose weight. I weighed like 
400, I dropped down to 452 pounds. I was at 664, dropped to 452. Having my weight myself this week, so I'm trying to wait until like maybe next week. Because I don't want to get into the habit because, you know, what happens is a lot of people weigh themselves, weigh themselves. Like they'll start out one week, then weigh themselves another week, then wait three days and then two days and one day. And they drive themselves crazy with weighing themselves, trying to weigh themselves, you know, all day. And it's like, I ain't got time for that. So I do it every once in a while because I don't want to drive myself crazy over weight loss. If I gain weight, then I gain weight. If I lost weight, that's good. If I gain weight, I know where to figure out where I gained the weight at. Like, I, I don't track anything. However, I do have a photographic memory. I can, I can think of, I can still remember what I've eaten on a day-to-day -day basis because I don't eat much. I eat maybe one or two times a day. I work out for about 45 minutes to an hour, sometimes more. Like, if I didn't work out the two days before, like when my mom passed last month and we had the funeral a couple weeks later after that, um, I didn't work out for like three days. So the next day I worked out for like two hours straight with straight dumbbells, a 40 pound dumbbell set. That was it. I did every exercise <laughs> known to man that you could do with dumbbells, curls, hammer curls, um, overhead tricep extensions, lay down tricep extensions, uh, tricep extensions, bench press. I mean, um, dumbbell press, you name it. I did it. Even bent over rows with dumbbells. So what I want to do is get a gym. And the gym I want costs $1,000. And I can I, I got half. I could come up with half. It's just the other half is going to be eh, iffy. I might not even be able to come up with the first half, but I'm going to try. But I may do a GoFundMe. I may not. It depends on how everything goes in the next coming weeks. Right now, I'm, I'm working, doing some overtime at my job, and I'll be working tomorrow, oh, 3 to 11, and overnight, 11 to 7. I'm doing 16 hours Eastern Standard Time, so I'll definitely be here tomorrow night. I'll be here at work tomorrow night like I am now. Shh, don't tell nobody. <laughs> So, um, what's going on with y'all? How y'all day was? Y'all had a great day? Y'all had y'all any plans for the weekend? Anything popping? Anything popping off? Like, you know, shows, venues? Let me know in the comments below. Maybe I'll come through on the weekend because I don't have to work. Oh, no, no. I'm sorry. I do have to work Saturday night. Yeah, I'm doing Saturday night, 11 to 7. Even though I'm usually off, but I, I um, promise the guy I'll hold the shift down. So I'll definitely be doing that tomorrow night, the Saturday night. But if y'all go out, if, if plans change, then I'll come. So let me know what's popping for this weekend. You in Jersey, you in like the uh, uh, northern Jersey area, like Patterson, Newark, um, hell, even New York. If you upstate, I'll come through. I ain't got no problem. I've been, if you out in Yonkers, um, whatever, let me know. Let me know. Now, definitely, if I can, if I'm not working, I'll definitely come through. That's no doubt. Man, I slept like a baby today. I ain't even going to lie to y'all. I slept like a baby today. I actually passed out. Like, let me see. I got home, did laundry. Me and my lady did laundry. Then I go pick up her stepfather from dialysis, came home, got in the bed. I think I fell asleep around 10, 30, 11 o'clock this morning, maybe earlier than that. And I slept till 8.30 tonight. And I was like, oh, 8.30 last night, I should say, because it's actually 2.25 in the morning. And I was like, man, that felt like the best sleep I've ever had. <laughs> no lie. Uh, tell your peoples to watch my channel too, man. Subscribe, comment, you know. 
soon I'm gonna get a camera so I'm, I'm working on getting a video camera so I could do more stuff I might incorporate my brother in it you know me and him me and him together are crazy a lot of people would say oh god when y'all two get together it's <laughs> it's over basically yeah because we do parodies we say stuff we just say and do stuff out the blue you'd be like what the hell You know, you know, I used to back in the day when I was small, I used to go to like the clubs and stuff like with my cousin and um, we used to go to anywhere Hot 97 or Power 105 would be. But back then it really wasn't. Yeah, it was Power 105. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the Power 105. This is before they started having powerhouse. This is like when they first came out and they first started going to, you know, like clubs and stuff. This is before they even had powerhouses. You know, some of y'all might be a little too young to remember that, but, <laughs> but yeah, I used to go to the clubs and stuff, jam up with them. Oh, and I'm going to do a section. I'm doing a section on my blog where I'll be interviewing, when I do get a better camera, I'll be interviewing local producers like that does music or write, do that stuff. Sort of like how News 12 find these little um, locals and do stories on them. I'm going to do the same thing. However, once that start building up credibility, I'll be going all over the country, going to Chicago, Texas, California, New York, um, Florida, Georgia. You know, I'm trying to go everywhere I can to do. So be on the lookout for that. So definitely be on the lookout for that. I know I'm rambling. I'm talking everything else but this game. <laughs> I'm talking everything else but this game. That's a shame. I know. I know. <laughs> but um, oh, you know who y'all gotta watch on here too? Dormtainment. Those guys are funny. You gotta watch their older stuff. I mean, I, I like their newer stuff, but their older stuff is what I relate to. Um, their Dormtainment. Their uh, channels D O R M. T A I N M E N T dorm tainment like a college dorm then you would put tainment like entertainment just tainment no they're them dudes you gotta check them out man they real funny man much props much blessings to them brothers they be doing they've been doing anything for a long time Hmm, let me see. I'll take this black. Hmm. Hmm. Guess I'll take his green. Smack him. Bam. You could take the perp. You could take the big. It's going to chip me in the forehead real quick. He's going to chip me in the forehead. In the fur head. Because he got... Oh, man. He about to get his finish. I just realized that. About to kick my face off. Step back and bam. Oh, Dolph. Why you do it to me? Whew, that was 4,000. Lord Jesus. Hold up. <laughs> oh, Lordy, Lordy, Lord. I kick out, though. Hit him with that tornado. Eh, let's take some of these boxes. Let's get some of those. He's going to stand up. I'm going to get another shot. Oh, he gets a shot. That's okay, because now the next one is going to super kick his brain off. Sometimes I'll be, like, not concentrating, not looking at what's on the board. I'll be doing whatever I feel that I see first and not concentrating, looking on the board to see if I got, like, power moves and stuff like that or power gems or something like that. And that'd be my fault. That'd definitely be my fault. But I notice any time uh, the player or opponent that you fight is in the thousands, like say if they eight, they're under a thousand, they're pretty easy. When they're over a thousand, they're a little harder. Yeah, Two thousand, they're even harder, and so forth and so forth. I know you guys probably told. Look at that, I got two free loot boxes. I still got like I got like tons of free loot to open. 
I got like the free loot, and I think that just gave me 10 or 11 victory loot boxes. So let's take on Big E. Let's do Big E first, but I'm going to give him his power back, so to speak. Yeah. Bing. But then I'm going to replace him with <clears throat> time to play the game. Doom, doom. You see how strong he is? 3870. He gonna kill Biggie. Time to play the game! <laughs> it's all about the game and how you play it. It's all about control if you can take it. I love that song. I ain't gonna lie. I love groups like Meta, Motorhead. Oh my god. Love all types of music. You know, I love all types of music. I like country. I like hip hop. Hip hop is my fave because I grew up around it. Well, I grew up in Newark, New Jersey. So if you know Newark like I know Newark, I was like, you knew you grew up around hip hop because most of all the music you heard in trucks and everything was hip hop. Cars rumping around was hip hop. TV was hip hop. When I was growing up, you know, when we. When we, we didn't really have cable like that, so we couldn't watch no BT and all that stuff. But we like the radio, we had a radio, we had Walkmans. You know, my mom and dad did what they could do with us, you know, do for us. I should say with us, but for us, I should say, you know, because, you know, we were poor, you know, wasn't like balling. We lived on a third floor in a building. That joint was, boy, I tell you. <laughs> if I lived on the third floor now, I think I'd be sleeping in my car. Like, I'm over, I'd be upstairs, like, maybe once every other day. Because I'd be like, whoo, Lord Jesus, I can't get up these stairs. Oh, Lord, help me. You know what I'm saying? So I can't, can't do it now. I can't do it now. I just can't do it now. now, 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 now. So, I'm going to do this last match, and I'm going to cut the video. And I may do the other half. I might not do the other half on the video. I may. I may do the other half. I don't know. Because I did the, what was that? Um, The Bash at the Beach. And that thing took me a half hour, over a half hour long just to do the video, to do both um, parts, portion. And I uploaded that video. I'm going to make this probably a part two. This is going to be the Thursday Uncaged part two. Now, in part two, the one before the main event, before the tag team, I never fight because that person, every time I try to fight him, I always lost the match. So I don't, no matter who I use, I always lose that match. So I don't use that match. I don't play that match no more. I used to and use the things at the bottom, but then I was like, nah, because nine times out of ten, they always win. I'm going to go with Dolph on this match. Even though he probably won't even use Dolph, but I'm going to use Dolph. You know what I mean? <laughs> Ugh. I get my fan shoes because it's warm in here. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Here we go! Come on, drop a blue. There you go! <laughs> I said, come on, drop a blue. Bam, there it is. I'm going to take this dude. Shoot, another wild. Even though he's going to pin him, I'm going to lose both. I think if you get a wild card and another wild card, you should at least keep one of those wild cards. After you get pinned, after they get pinned, you should be able to just, if they get up. Let's see, will it be... Oh, well, he didn't even get up. Oh, well. <laughs> Never mind. But I'm saying, like, if they kick out, you should be able to use at least one of them. You get two and one before you even get to use it. You know what I mean? See, 
You look at that. Took two moves. One that did the throw him in the corner, the other one to hook the leg. Alright guys, so I'm gonna cut the vid for now. Um I'll probably just do part two in a little bit though. I'll probably do part two. I'm gonna upload part one and then upload part two on YouTube in a minute. So uh guys, y'all take care. This is G Mo Sana. I'll be back with you shortly. Peace.